Okay, we're going to talk about return on equity. The formula is here. Uh, to calculate return on equity, it's net income divided by total equity. Uh, oftentimes you will see return on equity abbreviated as ROE. Uh, return on equity is similar to return on assets or return on sales, um, and you can see what changes in terms of return on equity is the denominator. We divide net income through by equity uh, versus assets or revenue for return on assets and return on sales respectively. So the key question that we can answer with return on equity is what percentage of every dollar of equity invested is returned as profit? And now we can take a look at an example using uh, Hasbro. This is a Hasbro's income statement and balance sheet from the year end 2018. Um, and uh, this is another uh, profitability ratio where we need to source from two different statements. So uh, on the left hand side is the income statement and we can see that net earnings are $220 million, and on the right-hand side, total shareholders' equity is the number we're looking for. That's $1.75 billion. So using these two numbers, we can plug into our formula. Uh, return on equity is 220 divided by 1.754, uh, and that will give us 12.6%. So now, is that any good? Is it good or bad? Well, to answer that and to evaluate uh, Hasbro's return on equity, we need to do two things. Uh, we need to compare Hasbro to its peer companies, and we need to look at how return on equity has been changing over time. So on the left-hand chart here, we can see return on equity for four big toy companies, Lego, Spin Master, Hasbro, and Mattel. And we can see that Hasbro's 12.6% is uh, very much uh, at the low end of the industry. It is still positive, uh, but it is significantly lower than Lego's 37 and Spin Master's 23. On the right hand side, we can see Hasbro's return on equity used to be very respectable. In 2016, it was over 30%, which would have put it just behind Lego, but it's been uh, deteriorating over the last two years. So in general, we like to see higher returns uh, on equity than lower, and we like to see increasing returns on equity uh, versus decreasing. And in both cases here, um, uh, Hasbro it gives us cause for concern. Um, returns on equity greater than 30% are generally considered quite good. Uh, in fact, less than 20% of the companies in the S&P 500 uh, can achieve a return on equity greater than 30%. Return on equity does vary quite a bit by industry, so it's important, as we've done here on the left-hand side, is to compare uh, within an industry, like companies to like companies. Um, and we need to be careful if the return on equity is too high or takes a dramatic increase from one year to the next, uh, as it could indicate um, some increasing risk. Um, so one way you could increase your return on equity is not by uh, increasing the numerator, uh, but instead by decreasing the denominator so, um, so be careful when you're evaluating it and always make sure you evaluate uh, relative to uh, peer companies in the same industry.